Northeast of Mackey, in the starkness of the Lemhi Valley, sits the lonely town of Gilmore. Years ago, Gilmore was another of Idaho's bustling mining communities. Now its buildings sit silent and empty below the towering Lemhi Range. Rich loads of lead silver discovered in the area prompted the establishment of the Upper Lemhi District in 1880. But large-scale mining did not take off until after the turn of the century, when a Pennsylvania man, Edgar Ross, bought much of the mountain. Every vulture has mines up and down the sides, but most of them were small. There was two big mines, uh, the latest out, and the other one was the P.I. mine, Pittsburgh, Idaho mine, and that was Ross's mine. The peak years would have probably been between 1910 and 1920. They were at one time considering making it the county seat. It was probably bigger than salmon at that time. Those boom years for Gilmore were spurred by the completion of the Gilmore and Pittsburgh Railroad in 1910. The railroad finally made it reasonable to ship large quantities of ore from the area. Of course, it built up through the teens and even the 20s were, were good. And then, of course, the Depression came along. And Roosevelt set the prices on precious metals. And he set them so low that they couldn't mine here profitably, and so it shut down. A few people hung on till even into the 60s, but it was just a handful. And that was it, till I came in the 70s. For a decade, Dick Mall was Gilmore's only resident. Although these days, he does have a couple of neighbors. Over the years, Mall matured into the town's historian, documenting every detail of the area's history in a thick, self-published book. Mall says life here during the mining days wasn't easy. Most of the miners, they were working for the big mines, and you just worked for wages. And it was a hard life, let's face it. A lot of them didn't have cars. They just packed up what they had in suitcases and walked out. They say that they left dishes on the table and things like that. I don't know it wasn't here, but there's enough stories that they obviously left a lot behind. Mall feels it's important to recall what this place once was, to remember the miners and the families who struggled to make a life here. For him, the past really isn't so far away. Sometimes you go out at night, you can almost feel it. You can almost hear the orc wagons coming down the hill and stuff like that. I'd say it's an important part of the history of the country. Certainly in Idaho it is, and I don't think it should be lost. A lot of people lived here, a lot of people worked here. These buildings are old and they're fragile. And once they're gone, they're gone forever. And every one of those buildings represents something that happened here. 